Good farming practice for us is about taking the best farming systems that are available, uh, designing them and implementing them on your particular property, taking the best technology practice and overlaying that on top, uh, and then making sure that you execute on that system and technology package on time, every time. Farming is a core element of the Australian economy. And as a core element of the economy, it is also a significant contributor to our national emissions story. And as such, it's a key focus area for us. Agriculture contributes around 15% of our national emissions. And we know that by reducing these, not only do we help our national accounts in greenhouse gas emissions, but that we also generate co-benefits to the livelihoods, to the environment, and in many cases, we can increase on-farm profit. All farmers, both large and small, recognise that we've got an obligation to manage our climate impact. It's important for us because we're investing for the long term. So we're here to build and manage our farming assets in a way that ensures they are resilient, sustainable and productive, not just today, but well into the future. This investment with Mira is an opportunity to partner with the leader in the agriculture sector, to partner with the CSIRO, to drive an increased focus on emissions within the sector, to drive down energy consumption in the agriculture sector as a whole. The Farm Print Project is an initiative to create a farm benchmarking tool to understand the greenhouse gas emissions per unit of farm product. Doing this allows farmers to compare themselves with the best in the sector and understand how they can increase their profits, increase their production, whilst reducing their environmental impact. We believe we'll generate a very practical, real-world set of evidence that will help every farmer, both large and small, to identify areas of progress they can make with new technology and new farming practices to drive productivity and efficiency. It's so important to get the execution of your farming system right because there are so many variables that are thrown against us. We really need to control the things that we can control and that gives us the best chance to, uh, to do our best on the things that we can't control, usually the weather. The Grange is a 14,000 hectare property in one location. It's in a high rainfall zone. It enables us to grow a four-way rotation, wheat, canola, lupins and barley, to make our operation sustainable. So essentially we're, we're putting ourselves in a position where we can grow more with less. Some of the methods we use here at the Grange are variable rate technology, controlled traffic, deep ripping and spading. It enables us to run the same, the same tram lines year in, year out. We never go off them, which then enables us to use less fuel, which produces less emissions. So for us, the use of precision farming techniques are so important because it allows us to maximise our use of inputs. I think we're entering one of the most exciting phases in agriculture around the ability for technology, whether it be new generation machinery like this behind me, or the use of machine learning, data and sensor technology can really help us make more predictive and more precise management decisions that drive productivity. So we're really proud to work with Australian farms and really proud to work with Mira and the CSIRO. In terms of what success looks like, a greater focus on emissions, a greater focus on energy consumption throughout the sector as a whole, which we think will underpin Australia's leadership position globally in agriculture and best practice. I hope people can learn from what we're doing to make their businesses sustainable, profitable and more efficient and basically to help the environment, to make our soils more stable. Technology and science and mobilising those for the benefit of agriculture is going to be a key part of meeting these challenges. So we're creating businesses that didn't exist, using great real assets, so great farming assets in terrifically productive zones. We're combining that with a, a people strategy, a technology strategy, an R&D strategy to drive productivity. And in the case of Viridis Ag, we're specifically also trying to drive our energy efficiency agenda. And all of that leads to more sustainable assets for the long term for our investors.